All right, here with Ron Kidd, Woodrow Wilson, uh, head coach. Ron, first of all, uh, I, I think you got to like your performance today against Hurricane in the uh, scrimmage here at Shaggy Springs. What were some of the things you liked that you saw? I just thought we uh, played a whole lot better defense than what we did on Thursday night against Chapmanville. I thought we got out and ran the ball, and uh, I thought we shot the ball better today than what we did the other night. Um, what were the things you think you got to work on before you open again, you know, get your, your rival Greenbrier uh, East on Friday? <laughs> well, we always got to, you know, work on our offense. You know, we're behind a little bit there, our plays and stuff like that, and our made and missed shot. And we also got to uh, get better on defense, our full court stuff. Um, you and I talked about Elijah, um, you know, winning games now. Do you, by what you saw today and what you've seen in the preseason, do you think it, it's ready to turn the corner on winning? Because that's the one thing that he's done everything in his career. The one thing, he did go to Charleston his freshman year, but hasn't been back. I just want him to be known as a winner and a, a kid that plays hard and does the right thing and makes his teammates a whole lot better. Ronnie took two, two charges in the first quarter, I think, there. You got to love that. He took two, and what we got to get him doing a whole lot of is this rebound. And, you know, he can almost be a triple-double guy for us. Um, is there any reason why um, Dylan shouldn't have more than 63s this year? I mean, he's he looks like he's locked in. I think he had five tonight, four or five. The only reason why I think he might not have more than 60 people might know him now and might try to, you know, lock him lock down on them a little bit harder, but that should open it up for Redfern and uh, Zion Hawthorne. Um, you've got, we, we also talked about the new staff. Um, Coach Barstow wasn't here tonight, but yeah. what's it been like now that you've gone through the whole season, you're getting ready to start next week's game week, having uh, kind of, as uh, James Lewis said, the band back together. Yourself, James Lewis, um, uh, Dylan, Eric Dillon's on set, and of course, Coach Barstow. You know, it's been a blessing, you know, just to have those guys back. Uh, you can already tell the pride that, you know, he didn't even go to Woodrow, uh, Coach Lewis, but you can see the pride that he has for the program. Uh, Eric Dillon, uh, Coach Dillon, he played for us, so he know the pride with the program, and Mike Folks brings that pride to the program. Right, Mike, too. I mean, Mike's yeah. been there for a long yeah, time. You got to, um, probably nobody is more a Woodrow guy than Mike Pokes. I mean, all Nobody. you guys are Woodrow guys, but Mike, Nobody. I mean, he lives it, doesn't he? <laughs> he lives it, he loves it, he bleeds it. And like I say, with those guys back, it's just a blessing. Old Coach Sparksdale, we're just proud to have him coming to practice with us, you know, just being there with us. On your personnel, you got some bigs. Looks like you're going to be able to do a lot of subbing in and out. Um, I think tonight, Walton, for instance, came off the bench. Um, you got three or four guys like it looks like they can give you what you need underneath. We got some bigs that should be able to help us. You know, when they get out on our guards, like you're talking about Kobe, our bigs should be able to do something on the inside. So that's a whole lot different this year. We got guys on the inside that we feel like can score. Um, with Brett Burn, I thought too his defense yep. was pretty good. Were you happy with the way he played defensively? Uh, you know, you take the charge and. Uh, in a game, is a great thing. It, but he's out there taking charges in, scrim in a scrimmage. He's playing uh, good defense, kind of getting guys where they need to be. I tell you what, if you look at his frame, uh, he's built to play defense. You know, we never had a guard that that long. He's almost six four. That can move his feet that way. He can block shots. He can jump. So he should be a great defensive player. Do you think he'll get there? I think he will. I think he'll get there. Uh, and he's then, working hard. And then all the accolades, too, with him. I mean, yeah. he's approaching a 1,000 points. Um, I mean, these are things you have to be happy to see your players accomplish. I'm happy for that, but I just want him to get, you know, he got to get wins. He has to be known for a winner in Beckley before he leave. And, you know, this is the last shot for him, so he has a lot to prove this year. How has he changed from year one? The year you guys did go to the, to the state tournament. Um, to where he is now. What's the biggest change been for Elijah? I think his attitude. You know, he's trying to grow up. He's trying to be a man. Even though he's younger than some of our, our juniors. And he's our a young boys, senior, right? He's yeah. a young senior. So he's trying to mature and uh, do the things that we need him to do, be a leader. Uh, um, you open up against East. You, and I think you have the last few years. Do you like that? Uh, do you like that kind of that opener against the rival? I love that opening. I love the rivalry. I like their fans when they come out. They pack the gym, and uh, it's just a great atmosphere. To, uh, being as as far as a basketball player, you should love that. 
Ron, um, where uh, where are you at, uh, Basketball? You still love it? Like the first day you you came in the gym? I love it, and like you say, my my assistants that I have now, they bring uh, energy to the team, and they bring it to me also. So it's kind of a <clears throat> you feel rejuvenated in a sense. I, I do, Dave. Did it ever get to where it was kind of bogging down, you know? Well, anytime you lose, you know, it takes something out of you. So the last couple of years. Yeah, yeah, it has been that way. But with what we got now, with the help I got with those, my assistants now, I think, you know, we can do a good job this year with this team. What's the number one reason Woodrow's going to turn the corner this year, do you think? I think it's going to be our defensive end. That's what it has to be. And Redfern has to be a great leader. And the other guys got to follow and just play hard. I think if we play hard, great things can happen. Aside from the injuries, um, what can you not have happen? Well, we can't have Redfern go down. That's our number <laughs> one thing. We can't have Kobe to get hurt or Zion or any of our guys. You know. Just stay healthy is the main Everybody thing. Everybody got to stay healthy. Okay. Hey, Ron, I appreciate it. And, uh, Good luck on Friday. Thank Probably you. Probably see you there. I appreciate you, Dave.